Oil prices are fueling more gains on Wall Street. Yeah, and it was a green across the board yesterday with a Dow up about 22 points. And that's despite talks of a possible interest rate hike from the Fed. Yeah, Maribel's live at the NASDAQ market site in New York with when we could see the rates go up. Maribel, good morning. Good morning, Owen and Amy. Well, the Federal Reserve is dropping hints at a rate hike may be coming soon, signaling a sign of confidence in the economy. So during its last policy meeting, some members were ready to act. And this week, two Fed members are saying a rate hike is likely this year. Investors are listening. Uh, they're putting more money on a rate hike by the end of the year. Okay, if you're getting nervous or are, you are nervous or paranoid about being followed while you're surfing the web, you know what? Chances are you've got reason to be. Researchers at the University of Washington in Seattle looked at web tracking over the last 20 years. And the study found that at least 75% of the world's 500 most popular websites contain web trackers. Researchers also found half of those top 500 websites contained at least four third-party trackers. Owen and Amy, word of the wise, according to the cybersecurity firm Kapersky Lab, did you know private browsing, that option, does not prevent social networks like Facebook and Google Plus or Twitter from collecting data about your preferences when you visit their websites? Yeah, I didn't know that exactly, but we did a story on this last week. Yeah. Like yeah. on you know, it's exactly. always something and not exactly what you assume. So yeah. very good stuff, Maribel. We'll see.